And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Sorry guys for the background, still got that lighting issue so just bear with me for the time being, hopefully it will be sorted over the next couple of days, however as I said the show still goes on um, and we have got quite a few bits and pieces to discuss in today's video, that of course includes the big U-turn that is set to be taken by Liverpool. Liverpool. We're also going to be going over uh, the German midfielder that the club have been tracking and have serious interest in. We're also going to be going over a few bits and pieces within the Liverpool space in general. And of course, take a look at the game this weekend as Liverpool take on Everton in that first Merseyside derby of the season and the first game back after the international break. As I said, we are on the other side now of the international break. There's a few more games left to play tomorrow. Um, obviously, England against Italy. So uh, Liverpool players should be involved with in other games also uh, throughout the uh, for the, uh, the international break. We've got so Dominic Sobozlai's uh Hungary going to be taking on Lithuania and as I said there's just a few other fixtures taking place yesterday of course the Netherlands Van Dijk um, beat uh, or his, his team beat Greece and he scored a 93rd minute penalty um, so yeah Liverpool players doing well uh, for their respective countries but as I said we are on the other side now uh, just one more fixtures or so left to go one more day of it and we'll be in the build up ready to go for that game on Saturday um, ahead of the clash of course there has been news with regards to um, the officials if any of you take sort of interest in that there is uh, the, the officials have been released to it Darren England the sort of uh, guy who was responsible for that controversial decision against Spurs does remain uh, return back to um, officiating again of course this weekend however the good news of course is that it won't be involved with Liverpool our officials for the game will be as follows Craig Pawson is the referee assistants are Mark Perry uh, Wade Smith fourth officials is Thomas Brammel and then VAR is David Coote and assistant VAR is Stuart Burr and as I said uh, we will begin sort of preparations for that game this week or well, the very very soon players will start to return back again. Uh, but another 12.30 and a very, very important uh, match indeed for Liverpool. But as I said, the officials have been released for that one. Um, in other news, guys, Ben Doak, of course, uh, currently representing uh, the Scotland under-21s. Uh, he's picked up an injury after he came off in the 62nd minute in their game against Hungary. Um, the extent of the injury at the time recording is currently unknown, but as I said, hopefully the young talent is fine. Um, but yeah, he picked up an injury on... Uh, yeah on international duty with the under-21. So some big news there with regards to dope, but as I said, hopefully not too serious. Now, over the last sort of couple of days, there has been a lot of regards to um, transfer news. We spoke about Andre, we spoke about Arsenal uh, wanting to make a move for him as well, apparently. We've also been speaking about Liverpool trying to do the groundwork to try and get him in through the door in January. And um, whilst there is no more updates with regards to Andre as such, there has been a bit of news from Florian Plattenberg and Sky sports with regards to a player uh, that Liverpool are apparently monitoring. This is what Florian Plettenberg had to say. Liverpool and especially Jurgen Klopp are monitoring and the development of Asen Udegrego. Uh, he currently plays for Schalke down in the Bundesliga 2. He is a 17-year-old versatile midfielder um, and has a release clause in 2024. Clubs from abroad have to pay around 20 million euros or 17 million pounds for his services. Uh, next to Liverpool, more clubs from England are interested that include Everton and Brighton. Uh, but that's from Florian and Palatenberg, not too sure, I don't know too much about the player, but certainly a young talent that is attracting all sorts of attention and Sky Sports have since ran the story this morning as well so uh, there is some substance into that one, so maybe watch out uh, possibly one for the future a player that we may be able to bring in uh, to join the youth ranks as I said, some people will go, oh 17 year old this, 17 year old that, but remember Ben Dope was 17 or 16 when we brought him in and already look how quickly he's sort of breaking into the first team at the age of 17 so um, as I said a bit of exciting news on that front however 
Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see how that one sort of materializes. Uh, 20 million euros um, is set to be his release clause. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff now on that front. Now, a bit of news with regards to Jorge Schmatka. Um, again, talks the talks are stating that um, Schmatka could end up staying in this uh, sort of big U-turn of the sporting director. Over the last sort of couple of days, we've been speaking a lot about the sporting director role. Schmatka was initially meant to come in for three months. However, it does seem or is being reported by James Pierce and uh, many other journalists that Liverpool could look to try and get him permanently going forward after they were impressed with his body of work over the summer and are um, excited by the prospect of working with him again this summer uh, to try and do the big defensive rebuild. So Hoy Schmacka could in fact not just be on a temporary role but come in on a permanent basis as the director of football. This also follows um, about the Julian Ward and Michael Edwards uh, rumours about them potentially coming back again which uh, didn't make any sense. But James Pearce also rubbishing um, that the club aren't necessarily interested in the former RB Leipzig uh, sporting director, Max Eberl, and are going for Jorge Schmatka as a potential permanent option um, going forward. Now, again, I don't really get too much into the director of football role, but I do know it's important. I think um, over the last few years, when you look at Michael Edwards and you look at what Julian Ward did with regards to how shrewd we were with transfer business, business, how we were with bringing players in. Um, and Jorge Schmatka also just got a small body of work from this summer. Um, again, it's uh, pretty exciting the way that we've managed to get the deals that we have done over the line. I quite like that German market, actually. Um, that's what obviously brought sort of Bosley through, Gravenberg through also, um, and sort of some of the players that we've been linked to recently. If you're looking today with the Schalke midfielder, again with the, the defenders that we've been linked to as well, it does look like that sort of region is where we're going after. But yeah, I've been happy with what Jorge Schmachter has done so far um, at Liverpool. Um, and uh, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind him being a permanent, but that's what I'm saying. James Pierce is stating with regards to that, that Liverpool could be set to make a U-turn with regards to that position and aren't looking for an external sporting director, but in fact could have Jorge Schmacke there for the long term, despite him only initially meant to be staying till the end of the year. So yeah, great interesting stuff with regards to that. Um, I, as I said, I do not underestimate the importance of a sporting director, especially when we're trying to get deals done and get deals over the line. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff on that front. But Liverpool fans, uh, we've gone through quite a few bits. Um, obviously, Ben Doak has picked up an injury. We've also, of course, gone through the officials for this weekend. Darren England's returning back to duties again uh, in the Premier League since his sort of bollocks dropped in that game against Spurs um, and yeah we've just been through a bit of transfer news as well um, so yeah quite a few bits and pieces discussed but do let me know your thoughts on the sporting director role and do you think Jorge Schmack has done a good job with regards to the recruitment and would you like to see him stay on on a permanent basis yeah, let me know down there in the comment section below and that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content thank you guys and we'll see you next time take care peace